Hi there everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a pot of soup. So just now we'll go through the ingredients and what you will need for this soup. So, just remove that. After all, it's got some large. Potatoes. And what I'll be doing with them is one of them I'll be slicing up and another one I'll actually be grating. I might use two or three to watch the Next I'll have this growth mix. And I'll be using half this bag. Leeks. Again, I'll probably use two or three of them. I have sliced carrots. I'll probably just use about one and a half bags of sliced carrots. I have my onions. I'm going to grate one of those onions and slice the other. I have four packets. I have four packets of cooking bacon. Now a lot of people use stock cubes for soup and there's nothing wrong with that. That'll make a yummy pot of soup. But I like to do my own stock. So I have four packets of the cooking bacon. And my first step will be to put this in some water and bring it to the boil and leave it for a good half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. And because I'm using bacon in this particular soup, I won't need to use salt. Because bacon's got, it's very salty itself. But if I was using chicken, I would definitely have to use some salt. So depending on what kind of stock you're using, always taste test it first anyway. So, that's my ingredients and I'll get started making the stock. Okay, now that I have my bacon bubbling away, boiling point, I'm going to just turn the heating down to about there, about quarter. And this will just bubble away for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. And then when I come down, what I use is my strainer. I'm going to strain all the bits of bacon out. <clears throat> and what I'll do is I'll keep some bits of bacon so that I can add them later on. Just actually turn that down a little bit more. There, okay. So, I'll be back once this is done. Hi there everybody. <laughs> I'm not crying, I've just been peeling onions. <laughs> so, this is the soup. I have strained it and I'm just left with a nice clear stock. So, what I'm going to add a cup of my scotch broth. I'm going to add onions chopped up and grated.
I'm going to add my carrots and my chopped up leeks. And here I've got diced potatoes. I have grated potatoes and I have some of the ham. And now I'm going to boil this for about another hour. I'm going to add some pepper. And I'll just let that boil away. And the next time we see it, it should be ready. Well, that's the soup ready. And she needs it. Mm, that looks delicious. So I'm going to pour myself a bowl of it. I'll just move these round a little. And there it is. So I'll take these up the stair and I'll have my soup. See you in a minute. So here's my soup. As you can see there's lots of lentils and onions and carrots and the little bits of ham I've left in. Move you up so I can talk to you. That's better. So I'll dig in. Get some nice bread to dip in, and I'll give you my honest opinion. Mm. It's so much better than the stuff that you buy at the shops. Mm. Delish. So I'm watching Border Force, the American Canadian border. People smuggling stuff in. I love that show, it's good. So it's Saturday morning and it's still quite dark outside. I think it's going to be a rainy day again.
delicious. Perfectly cooked. So, I put up a video of a magazine. It was a Christmas magazine. And I was looking at the Christmas wreaths. And I was telling you about one that I had bought the other day. It's not so much a Christmas wreath, it's just more of a kind of autumn. So, I have it on my door, but I took it down so I could show you that. And it's got the cinnamon sticks and oranges all over it. And it smells, it just smells so good. So I wanted to <laughs> show you that. Enjoying this. And I've made a big, big pot so I can freeze some of it, put it in bags and then whenever I fancy some soup just take it out and heat it up. So the leaves are all coming off the trees here in Scotland. Autumn, I absolutely love autumn. Autumn and winter. I'm strange. Can't wait for the snow. Seeing that I like um, a little bit of snow, I don't like it when it's so bad that you can't drive your car. There was one year it was so bad, everybody just couldn't drive. The snow was up to my waist. Never seen anything like it, and by the time we managed to get the car and drive. We went up to the petrol station and as we were going it was like it was like the end of the world or something. There was abandoned cars all over the place. It was just absolutely I've never seen anything like it. I don't like it when it's like that but I like a nice flurry <laughs> of snow. Just watch, there's someone smuggled a cat. It's amazing what they will smuggle in. Smuggle. <laughs> admit I love being on aeroplanes. I love everything about it. I love the aeroplane meals. That when it's long haul, like from here to Florida, you're talking nine, nine and a half hours, something like that. Build out if you could go first class.
the airport so I always get frisked. Always. <laughs> I must just look like I've got a bag of heroin stashed up my My mum's the same, she gets searched. <laughs> we must look like dodgy characters. In fact, the last time we went away, it was me, my mum and my, my son. And there's a bit in the airport that your your bags go down, and if your bags are okay, they go straight down, but other bags get put on this other little conveyor belt. So the bags are all going down, there goes my mum's, and there goes mine. I was thinking, of course. And then I had to go in the, the machine that you, the scanning machine. And because I've had the double mastectomy, it's hard for me to lift my, my arms above my head. And they were saying, lift your arms above your head. And I was going, oh, oh, I'm trying. So plans for today. I'm hoping the postman brings some props for me. I've got a video planned. But I need my props. I've actually got a few videos in mind. It's funny that sometimes you've got five and six videos in your mind and other times you just go blank. Mr. Mikey just about to bark. I am thoroughly enjoying this soup. It's great to come home to in a cold day. You're freezing and you come home and you just make a big pot of soup. I also like a bowl of mince and totties. I'll need to make that one day for you. Well done. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed that. My and Brooke. So, that's how I make my soup. Sometimes I make chicken soup. I do the same thing. I boil some chicken legs up and up a boil for a good hour you've got to add salt if you make it your stock just with chicken pardon me or pea and ham's good it's the same stock that I've done there but you soak your peas overnight so that they're nice and soft and pea and ham's beautiful as well 
Thanks for watching everybody and I hope you liked this video. Thanks for subscribing and liking. And I love you all. These are my little berries. See you again. Bye.